morning guys my plan was to do a little time lapse clean of the van here and I pulled everything that I own out of it and it just turned into the craziest process I've ever seen I don't know how I have this much stuff inside my van Insanity, bro. Dude, so much stuff in the van. How do you fit it all in there? I don't <laughs> remember anything being in here. Hey, boys. So, yeah, we're about to just completely re-clean, remake this bed, do some laundry here, organize all the rest of my stuff because organized living is where it's at. You gotta know where everything's at. And uh, pros and cons of the van life. You can hold so much stuff, but then you end up with so much stuff. <laughs> it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes a bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow, or it can crash. to vacuum your car right here. <laughs> Boys, look who shows up. All right, the bed is made. Now, precise organization and placement of every article. I said empty your mind. One is a wrap. Never thought that would end. Section two, here we go. Let's fuck. All right guys, that was way gnarlier than I had expected. It literally took almost four hours, but I've never been more hyped on a new setup. I'm gonna run through this real quick. So we got shoes and hats posted up on a new shelf that I laid down. The riverboard, the chair that I edit with right here. I got all my food and supplements in these drawers. My wetsuits right here, the power station here. This all gets held into place with that five gallon water jug. Then I got my easy accessible computer bag moves out of the way real quick for the cooler storage before this was all useless space and now I can pull the surfboards over and I have all my clothes in drawers that are accessible at all times couple backpacks for storage all the books wedged into place this is where the editing goes down and I switched it because I don't have access to both of these, I only have access to the top one. I put all my snowboarding stuff that I'm not gonna use in this bin down here that will stay where it is. And now my top section is all stuff for making stickers and orders, the little long lens, which we need. Easily accessible envelopes and computer stuff, hard drive stuff. So that's a game changer. And if that wasn't my favorite upgrade, Everybody knows you got a junk drawer or a place where just stuff disappears and you keep throwing stuff. I finally organized mine. Check this thing. Everything I need. Toothpicks, a knife, that's it. Wallet, headphones, tripod stand, GoPro, skate tool. Doesn't get more basic or more essential than that. I am, uh... Yeah, never been more ready to get on the road here. Let's peep this back section. So I switched up the bins. Now this one is for food. This one is for coffee supplies. And the last one back there is for cooking gear. Bed's all nice and freshly made proper. We got the new shelf that I talked about right there. Tripod easily accessible. Extra blankets in the back with my cooking gear. 
all the surf supplies, all the surfboards, cutting board. Are you joking me? Insane, it's like two o'clock already. Started that around 11 this morning, so so hyped. The organization thing, I cannot even stress enough how important it is. And when you organize like that in the van, I gotta say another pro and con is that if you don't have the stacking down proper and you have to keep moving stuff, that this could be dirty by 8 p.m. tonight just because if I gotta get something in the back, then I gotta pull it way out. So I do my best to make things hang or to have one section for everything so that you don't have to constantly be moving stuff. I think it's about time we go and get in this water here now. Wait a minute. I forgot while I was just doing that whole van setup. This just came in the mail for me from an Adam Freshetti. Whoa. First of all, with the theory bag? Whoa. Dude, fresh theory shirt? Not one, but two? Clean as can be? XL for the dream. Dude, a heap of theory stickers and a note. Hey Casey, here's some swag from my boys skate and snowboard shop here in Western Mass. I actually had a theory in Marlboro, I think it was, Marlboro, Connecticut, right near me when I was growing up and I believe it shut down. The guys that own it, Frank and Dan welcomed me into the local skate community back when I moved from Vermont to Massachusetts. I moved to the same street they first started on back in 1998, the same year I moved. Theory is the most well-known skate shop in the area and dedicated to keeping the stoke alive for the past 20 years. They also sponsor on their team, Scott Stevens, a local boy from around here who rides for Capita and is a beast and true legends. Scott Stevens is the legend, is the boy. Enjoy the gear and keep putting out the positive content. Thanks for the dream. You, Adam Freshetti. Holy, I don't even know what to say, dude. Adam, thank you so much. I am so hyped on the gear. I got the clothes set up now with the new organization, so I'll be able to grab them. And dang, dude, give it back. I love the fact that I just did a boot giveaway like two days ago and then instantly received something in the mail from a fan, just showing love and supporting the dream. You guys already know what this channel's about. If you put that good energy out there, it is inevitable. Whether you believe in it or not, it comes back around and we're living the exact definition of that. So Adam, thank you so much, homie. I really appreciate it. And wait a minute, do I have to hold up again? Got another package. Brand new GoPro Hero 5 in the box got another warranty on my old one so if anybody's looking for a GoPro Hero 5 you want to make an offer throw it out there it does not come with anything though because it's a warranty so no battery just the GoPro throw an offer out it's time to go get in this water Thank <laughs> you. 